Hi, it's Mike M. Black from London Holistic Nutrition. Welcome to part two. I'm talking about why counting calories to lose weight doesn't make sense. And it's something that a lot of people do. And the reality of this mechanistic approach is that it's totally counterproductive. And counterproductive because trying to impose your rules above the natural processes in, in the body is an impossible task. It's inevitable that you will always lose out. And in the case of weight loss and calorie counting, that means long term you put more weight on. And the statistics clearly show that. And I want to talk about the quality of the food I see many people eating when they're on this type of diet. When people calorie count, they tend to pick up a package and look at the amount of calories printed without regard for the nutrient quality of the food. So for example, someone picks up a LucasAid Sport and says there's only 100 calories in it, so that's okay to have. Now, someone said that to me recently, and this type of approach is common, i.e. looking at calories without any appreciation of the nutritional value of the food. So I see people eating low calorie products like Ribita, pasteurized low fat yogurts, no calorie diet coke, etc, etc. There's virtually no nutritional value in all these products and I call them products because they shouldn't be classified as food. They stress the body on so many levels and once again, like I was saying in part one, you end up starving the body of nutrition and becoming now nourished and totally out of sync with nature. Uh, and the natural processes of the body. These displacement foods stress you, and those who follow the calorie counting approach, if they're honest with themselves, they tend to be pretty miserable in the process. And whenever you're miserable, it's a sure sign you're moving away from nature. And as I was saying in part one, let nature be the template. Okay, thanks for listening, and look out for part three. Thanks again.